Hi everybody and welcome! I am so glad that you're here! Today I want to talk about the spruce cones. You know that I love spruce trees. I have shared with you two videos already. One about the spruce tips of all the great benefits that you can get from there, including that you have a lot of the chikimic acid, which is the active ingredient of the Tami flu the medicine that you get whenever you have the flu virus so that you can shorten the period that you have the flu virus in your system or to decrease also the symptoms that you're getting from the flu virus like how amazing is that and you're getting that from this tree i also share with you in another video how you can also collect from the cones how you can connect also the seeds so that you can grow your own tree and i'll share with you later on how is it that you're going to be doing the whole process of growing the tree Now, there's a lot of spruce cones growing here. You see all of these beautiful little tiny cones in here. And I wanna share with you a recipe that you can do with the spruce cones because the spruce cones are also edible. This tree is majestic. This is like one of those super food that is right in front of your face and you don't even use it, right? So it's a majestic tree that it helps you so much with your lung system and everything. And you can check in the spruce tips all the great benefits that you're going to be getting from there and all the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects that it has and it helps you the most with cough and also with inflammation in your lungs so now that we know all of that and you can check those videos we're gonna then share some of the great cool things that this tree also have this tree we have two different cones one cone will be the female cone and another cone will be then the male cone whenever you see the cones many people are like oh there's just cones but no this tree actually is really similar to us because it has the male cones that are gonna be producing then the sperm so they're producing then the, um, the spores and these spores are gonna be traveling via that pollen that we're gonna be seeing and that pollen is gonna go into the female cones. So the female cones are the ones that have the, um, the little shells are gonna be a little bit more open and they're open because they're ready to get fertilized by the pollen from the male cones. And those are the ones that are gonna have seeds. So the female is the one that's gonna be producing the seeds. So if you see any cone that you're getting and it has seeds, it's because it's a female cone. And those actually were fertilized by the cones of the male. Now I have seen a, a mix of information of where you have the cones. So some places tells you that the male cones are gonna be more in the bottom of the tree and they're fertilizing then another tree. And some places say that the male cones are more up. But now for me, I have been checking them out and this one is in the bottom. So most of the bottom cones for me are male. And I can tell because they have, I don't know if you can see it right now, but I'm gonna check it a little bit for you. So if I check this, I'm gonna see the pollen flying. So check that out. So that pollen is flying now from this tree to the other trees around here and they're fertilizing then the other trees. I'm gonna show you the different stages of how you get the spruce cones. Cause the spruce cones are come in first like a tiny little bud. And that tiny little bud in brown or light green it's gonna then turn into a lighter green bud and then that lighter green bud is gonna then turn into like a pinkish almost red and then that pink red will turn like in a purple color and then eventually it will turn down into a dark brown which will light up into a lighter brown later on and then we have our cone now you would think that this happens very quickly no 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 I am telling you that this is very similar to us because as we are formed, we have then the sperm and we have then the ovum and they get fertilized and then we have an embryo. So the same happens in here. We have then the sperm from the spermatogonia, from the, um, the pollen, from the, uh, the, the male cone, and that's going to be fertilizing then 
the ovum, which is going to be then the seeds, the seed pods that we have then in the, in the female cone. And now that creates an embryo, which is going to be the fertilized seed. Now the fertilized seed is going to keep on growing and it's not ready to actually be harvested until the cone is completely formed. So the maturation of the cone, it takes three years approximately three years for the cone to be completely fully mature and to have the seeds fully mature so that you can harvest it how crazy is that it's amazing it's just unbelievable it's just like us we take almost a whole year to actually be completely formed in the oven <laughs> in the in the wound of your mom right you know you have those nine months so in here it takes actually three years it's just so beautiful so whenever you see those cones you know appreciate them because nature actually took a lot of hard work and actually to create those cones and everything in this tree is edible so we have said before how is it that we are eating the the spruce tips and you can actually now eat the spruce cones which we're going to be eating now and we're going to be then sharing the recipe that I'm gonna be doing, but there's thousands of different ways that you can eat it. You can eat it raw, and you can also eat the pollen. The pollen is also edible. Now, of course, if you have allergies, you have asthma, you should not be walking around wherever the pollen is dispersing, especially when there's a lot of wind around. You should not be walking around the trees unless you actually have a mask that's actually protecting you against it. And it's a mask that's actually gonna be for tiny little particles, right? Because not every mask protects you against the pollen. Now, let's go ahead and enjoy then all the different cones that we have over here see the different shapes because it's so amazing nature is so beautiful and then let's go to the kitchen and let's get going with our shake so we can see over here how is it that we start with a tiny little bud you can see that really brown tiny little bud over here and that tiny little bud in brown is going to become a cream bud. So something like this. Very similar to when you have the spruce tips. And then you see it over here that is becoming more bigger, greener, just like the spruce tips. But then when you keep on going, if we look in here, into this side, we will see that we have some already maturing. So you can see over here how is it that they are becoming like this pinkish color let me just um, put it closer for you there we go so they become this pink color almost red and they're taking now that shape of like a spruce cone right so now we know that this is definitely gonna be a spruce cone then after that, they start getting a little bit elongated because we know that the spruce cones, they're more elongated instead of round color. And so in here, you can see how the spruce cone is getting now already that shape more elongated. So beautiful. And the color is changing from that pink magenta almost color into more like a red purple color so cute and we're also getting a little bit of that brown um, oh my god now i have a little pulling everywhere so we actually got a little spruce pulling everywhere you can see that over there yep every time i shake it so this is a male male cone over there so beautiful over here we have more into this side so when you keep on going in this tree all of these trees are actually growing right now but when you get into this tree look at this one this tree we have all kinds of shape and sizes so you can see them very tiny over here you can see them tiny over here right super cute with that pink color that we said before you can see it better over here yeah and then it starts growing a little bit more with that elongated shape and then we see a more brown color over here you see that over here more brown color really nice and then it's gonna get even bigger so all the tree it looks like a christmas tree that's how i can describe it 
It looks like a decorated Christmas tree with a whole bunch of red everywhere. Now for any, it's not like you can see it like really crazy. So for any person that they're just walking by the tree that you might not even notice it. So wherever you see a tree, you know, take your time, enjoy it. Trees are majestic. They are actually doing a lot of hard work to produce a lot of seeds. And this, you can see that in the bottom of the tree, at the bottom, there's a whole bunch that they haven't matured yet. So there's a whole bunch that they're still in the first phases that we just mentioned before. They're really tiny. Oh, I love this one over here. Look at this. They're so tiny. Look at this over here. Oh my God. This is so cute. You can see how it was very brown and, and you know, the little tiny capsule that we mentioned before and now it's coming out this majestic really really amazing let's go for a little walk oh so beautiful god is amazing there's a lot of miracles happening right in front of us like we cannot even explain how all of this is happening we know but what is all of the biochemistry and chemical that is happening around it and those are a whole bunch of seeds let me just show you the seeds because now that we're here I just love this those are the maple tree helicopters I'm sure that many of you have seen it so those are all seeds too I might actually do a video of helicopter seeds look at those so cute so beautiful isn't it amazing how nature is all the tree is all those seeds. The whole tree is just full of seeds getting ready to propagate. It's amazing. Those cones, you see that purple cone over here? Remember that I said that once it starts growing and elongating, it's gonna get more purple color and then it turns into that brown color. Look at it right here. I love it. I thought that I was not gonna be able to show you one, but there's one over here and there's another one over there. So this is how they start growing. They start getting more elongated and more dark purple color. And then they go into that brown color that we usually see and then a lighter, lighter color. So, but remember it takes three years to be fully mature. So this is gonna be for a while while it grows, but I enjoy so much and I'm so happy that we're gonna be able to see so many cones. But of course, all the animals are gonna be also taking their cones. So I'm not gonna be harvesting all of them. And then over there at the top, you can see how is it that we're going to have our cones at the end. So that will take a few years until we finally have those cones like that. So those are cones that are really old cones. So amazing. Okay, let's go into harvest now. home we see two big ones yay look at that you can see how from like dark purple now they're like almost brown beautiful 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 just on our way back home we get to see this two cones already forming now we're in the kitchen and we're ready to make our shake so all of the ingredients I'm going to be using today to make our shake are the following. We need a few cones. I'm going to just use like 10 cones. And I'm going to go ahead and clean them, wash it up. When you wash it, you don't need to wash it like really a lot because you don't want to lose all the pollen. The pollen also has a lot of nutritional value. So I want to keep them, some of it in there. So I'm going to wash this over here. Also, I have half a cup of condensed milk. You don't need to use condensed milk. You can use um, stevia or Splenda or anything that you have at home, honey. You can replace it whatever you want. I just love condensed milk, so I'm using some condensed milk today. And I also have a can of coconut milk. Also, I'm gonna be using some of the leftover kale that I have. You can check then the kale um, video, the, pre the previous video of kale. And it has all the benefits that we have of kale and also another recipe of kale as well. 
So I'm gonna have a handful of the kale. This has already been washed. So I'm gonna put the whole kale over here. And here I think I have seven leaves. So just again, kale, half a cup of condensed milk, one can of coconut milk, some of the spruce cones, and then some ice. Mix it all up and let's enjoy. Let me go ahead and wash this up right now. So this has been washed and these are our spruce cones. So let me show you if I were to open it up, this is how I like the ones that are really red. So, and they're very, you know, soft and gooey. They're, I like just how they taste better. And so when you open it up and I will remove all the outer shell, you can see inside how they look. You have like a stem in the middle holding all the cone really cool and then you have all that pollen inside so we're using the whole cone we're not getting rid of anything we're gonna be eating the outer shell and the inner shell everything so you can enjoy it raw or you can put it then in shakes too so all kinds of stuff as we said so I have a few to use, so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy just a few over here. Really good. I'm gonna put 10 over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Let's go ahead, put the kale completely in there, already washed. And we're gonna put some ice in there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put the condensed milk. And the whole can of coconut milk. And we're ready to go. Let me just go ahead and shake it. I love anything that is green smoothie. And this is really good because we have the benefits that we said from the kale. So you can check that video out for you can see all the amazing superpowers of kale. And now we're also enjoying the amazing superpowers of the, the spruce cones. And then we have also coconut milk. So the only thing that it was not that great was that condensed milk, which you can replace it with anything else that you might want, or you just don't put any sugar at all. But because I have a sweet tooth, I went for the condensed milk. <laughs> so let me just go ahead and enjoy. Oh, so good. <laughs> so may you have an amazing day, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you learned something new. And if you enjoyed this video and you like this video, go ahead and be part of the community. Subscribe to our channel and share this video to everybody. Share this video to the friends and family. And may you have all an amazing day. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the miracles. Look around you. There's lots of miracles happening around you. Bye, guys. See you next Tuesday.